What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the top of the map in the blue color playing as Set. His name is Count Von Count. His opponent today in the red color playing as Oranos. His name is Shadowfax. Shadowfax the Great, Shadowfax the Wise, Shadowfax the walking the entire way to the center of the map for a dock. Don't know if I could recommend, I, I don't know if, if I would recommend doing this, but let's talk about it just a little bit after we continue with the, uh, the important parts of this game. So, first and foremost, map is sudden death we just watched our first game on sudden death just now so that's a that's a big one so we already kind of know what's going on but this is again from the first round of the uh map masters tournament hosted by keen flame uh and if you don't know who keen flame is i do encourage you he's got a great youtube channel he kind of was doing youtube from around i want to say like 20 uh, I can't remember the exact inception date, but maybe like 2014 to 2017-ish was his kind of heyday. A really, really funny guy. Great YouTube content. I do recommend checking him out if you want some more age mythology content in your life. So we'll see We'll see how this game is going to go. And this is something that I was going to talk about a little bit. And this is, well, maybe a little bit, but maybe not. Anyways, uh, so this map, as Uranus, it's really, really, really hard to make this work, to make this dock work. I reckon my theory crafting was that uh, that on this map, you always get access to elk. So doing a hunting dogs, four minute, uh, three minute 55, four minute hunting dogs advance here is going to net you the best opportunity to win this game as Atlantean. Because what you would do is you would rush down this uh this location here with Mermillo, Prometheus, and all the other stuff before your opponent even advances, and you can drop the dock down, and instead of making Terma, you could be making yourself Bareem on that location to take that and uh, and win where that's concerned. We see a uh, shockwave from Shadowfax, an interesting shockwave from Shadowfax as the uh, the Pharaoh also coming in harassing this citizen. The citizen's gonna have to walk all the way back home to escape that Pharaoh. The Pharaoh's also got a speed advantage on this one. So effectively, what Shadowfax needs to do as he does come through, he will be picking off a, a villager here. Nice play by uh, by Shadowfax where that's concerned, but he needs to retreat with this citizen and finally gonna be doing so. Gonna lose a little bit more HP over there. We do see the boar is out over here as well for Count Von Count to try and take down the Oracle. Oracle heroes do a little bit of bonus damage against the boar here, but the boar does not get a negative damage versus heroes here, but the hero, but the oracle can kind of retreat away as another villager going to be coming in here. Uh, attacking, uh, converting to an oracle hero here will mean that uh, that Shadowfax will need to get himself a little bit of gold here. So we're going to check out these this, uh, this economy here. Shadowfax, lots of food in the bank. He will be wanting to advance here, but he cannot... Uh, forward to or yes he can temple on the way one thing to remember here as atlantean is you do not need houses as the uh other fishing spot has been taken this is very exciting i thought this was going to be a really really tough uh tough early game for shadow facts but he's made it work thus far and we'll see how things are going to be uh, coming up. So lots and lots of different opportunities here for fun shenanigans from Count Von Count's perspective. He's going to have access to Shifting Sands. He's going to have... Hold on. That's not a god you see very often here. Oceanus coming through for our Rhinos player Shadowfax. The reason for this has to be that and that he believes that a Carnivora is going to be necessary to help him win the water. Not only that, getting himself access getting himself access to the servant as well is going to help out a ton here. And he feels like he needs that Oceanus to help him win. But that means no Valor 
charges for Shadow Fax in this game. He's getting himself hand axed now. Going to be in a really, really strong position here in this early game. Still no advance time from Camp on Count. A very, very late advance time here. Four minutes, 40 seconds into the game. He's clicking up through Tar. Super, super late here. Is another dock coming down on this position. Are we seeing some Bareems? Yes, we are. The, bear, the Bears, the Boars searching for something over here. This Galadriel also on this location here can get that... Uh, that Citizen Hill back up, as now we do see the Carnivore going to be starting to take the dock down. Now, there is a Fairy here, but unless... Un well, the Fairy doesn't do all too much against the Carnivora until it is uh, in the Classical Age, so we can't even fight back against this one. We're starting to see some Bareems coming out of this location. Do we see any Barracks here? Uh, not just yet, but we have got a... Docked over on this location, as well as Persine coming through as a fishing ship has been taken out. Uh, nice play there thus far. This dock will indeed be coming down here very, very soon. As Shadowfax might want to consider building some barracks with this, uh, with this shadow, with this uh, citizen here to start building some Mamillo, putting some pressure onto this, uh, onto this map. Now, the other thing here that's interesting is because Shadowfax went through Oceanus, he's going to have access to Bite of the Shark. Now, that's something a guy player is going to be fairly, uh, fairly aware of. That it's a really, really strong technology here. 200 food, 15 favor, plus 15% Mamillo damage. And favor is free here for the Aranos player. He's going to have quite a bit of that. Now, the other thing is, we see a lot of favor already in the bank here for... Um Hang on. Hang on. I don't know how it works. I don't... I don't know how it works. It's six minutes into the game. Shadowfax has got 65 favor in the bank. Don't ask me why he's got, or now he's got 60. Don't ask me why, because my tooltip says that fortified citadels do not give you any bonus, do not give you any favor. It says here, Atlantis don't generate favor from citadels. But he's clearly getting favor and quite a lot of it. He's getting quite a lot of favor here. There's some cabinets starting to come out on this location over here. As that dock was taken down, the Wadger will be able to clean the Carnivora up over here. And we'll see if Shadowfax can hold on to this location as he is starting to take down this top spot over here as well. As, maybe the tents? No, the tents don't give favor. That's, that's not what happens there. He's got quite a lot of favor though. That's like more than normal for sure. As an armory coming up now for Count Von Count. You can see the score difference already. That's a lot of that is in that favor at this point as well as Shadowfax... Well, what's his plan? What's his plan? Shadowfax is one of the one of the better players in uh in this tournament just based on his kind of sheer knowledge of the game, playing a whole bunch of weird maps as things go, as we do see the kind of work kind of being wasted there a little bit. Would have liked to see it right next to that dock there, but he does manage to snipe one cabinet there on that location as the Caladria coming in to heal up those those cabinets over here as well. As we will be seeing the the uh a dock over here getting taken down. Ever so slightly more houses coming down for Count Von Count. As Count Von Count seemingly looking like he's trying to get to the next age. He's now got himself a monument to the villagers. A second monument will allow him to make some uh, a lot more gazelle of set if he so chooses. Effectively, you can get yourself 1,000 food per minute. Or something like that. Maybe 1,500 food per minute from those from those gazella set two favor each you get about 10 favor a minute so you get five of those so you do the math there there's no i can't do the math i don't even know what the math is because i can't remember how much food they get give is it 100 or 75 anyways doesn't matter you, you get a little bit maybe 500 food a, a minute i don't know whatever doesn't matter onwards and upwards <laughs> fishing ship here almost getting sniped as Shadowfax is going to attempt to defend over here. He's still not producing anything. I think Shadowfax really, really wants access to the Heroic Gauge here because he's probably fairly aware that a market is going to really help him out in this game. As the armory is down, lots of villagers still on wood here for uh, for Shadowfax as he does manage to kill that dog. Retreats away with the Mamillo. Mamillo is still going to be alive. Putting pressure over onto this location over here. That's the Trireme going to be taking out those cabinets where that's concerned. I don't... I mean, Shadowfax is trying to put pressure on. Count Von Count here is still trying to build villages. Still trying to hold on to his water over here. But I I really feel like it's not a whole lot of 
point to this here from the side of uh, of the set player. I mean, if I saying if I was in this position, but if I was in this position, I'd probably just give up water, drop my monuments, and just build a whole bunch of hunt, and then go for some sort of a villager rush onto this location here. <laughs> to be honest, that's what not a villager rush, but like a couple of siege towers and ancestors and. My opponent's built so many Bareems here. It's just so many. Shadowfax's probably going to be able to advance to the next age really, really soon. As well, he's got 500 food in the bank. Lots of idle Bareems here needed to take down those docks over here of Count Von Count. He's got... Uh, oh, we are seeing some more cabinets getting trained here for Count Von Count as well. As double barracks is up, more houses coming down. Got the mining camps up. I think the best way to build your houses here is actually to surround your tents in a way, <laughs> and not the towers, and just wall chip the towers as well. As we see another Carnivora getting dropped in onto this position, and Count, Count has decided, yep, it's time to stop the uh, the party on this on this island, as the cabinet's over here, on that pond, I should say, as the cabinet's over here starting to come through. We've got a barracks sneaking up in this corner here, going to be looking for some cheeky raids later in the game, as Thea, the god of choice here for shadow faxing it now 100 favor, very, very tense here. No no cheeky Hyperion. Just going straight through Thayer. I think maybe casting Hesperidge Tree here and casting Hesperidge Tree here is going to be a plan for Shadowfax to make sure his Citadel Center is going to be kept alive in this game. There's the dock over here. Me getting taken down. We do see the, uh, the cabinets pushing in onto this location here very, very well. Can he win this fight or not? We've got nine cabinets to eight. Well, eight cabinets to eight Bareems. That should be a win there for the uh, for the cabinets, but he's retreating back as uh, the the uh, production here is not really there for, for Count Von Count at this point. I'm not sure exactly where he's spending his resources, but he's making himself some axemen. He's making himself some slingers, deleting those boars here. Got to be really careful. Got to be really careful. Don't want to delete that Citadel. <laughs> We do have a, a question in the chat. Does the Atlantean Citadel have less HP2? Answer is absolutely. 4,680 HP there, ladies and gentlemen. As the uh, next age is up, we see manners coming down all over the place here. Shadowfax might simply just drop... A wait, 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 wait. What about dropping a market and going for the Mythic Age here? Not with the idea of going Hecate, but with the idea of going um, Helios here, with all of the... Yeah, he's dropping the market down, but with all of the extra favor he has, he can just make four uh, Hecate Gigantes right off the bat, and then he can just drop them into his opponent's base and easily snipe that Citadel or snipe anything here. We are seeing a palace coming down over here, so wanted to make some destroyers or something, but we already see the Axemen out here. Could be a little bit too overzealous. The score differential is absolutely gigantic here. Again, a lot of that has to be in... Uh, a lot of that has to be in that favor, that free favor that the Shadowfax has gotten. I don't like that Hesper Tree positioning. I thought right next to the town center. Now you're getting asked to be meteored or getting asked to be tornadoed, getting asked to be shifting sands on. All of these things uh, are very, very important here. So these units retreating back, trying to figure out what they need to do here in this game. Units all sitting in the middle here. We are starting to see some Contarius coming through. A really, really smart unit choice against this army composition. The Axemen here. Lots of armor, but not much HP. Those uh, those Contarius do a lot of damage to them and tank a lot from those Axemen as well. As another barracks is going to be coming up onto this position here. Shadowfax's economy still quite large. And he is making those early, early Llama Caravans. I was talking about that in the Joe versus Momo series where the only way the only real access to extra economy outside of that fish here is to his markets so getting an early heroic age here to start that is very very important here as count on count trying to push through as we do see an ancestors getting dropped in onto this location but there is a palace here we do see some hero arcus being created though the slingers are in here amygdala stronghold getting dropped down in onto this position as count on count is putting the pressure on do we see all of those resources spent on a mythic age? Not just yet, uh, as he's spending. As it looks like Shadowfax is deciding to go all out on spending 
Uh, his resources now on units, getting himself heavy cavalry here to try and defend this location as best as he can. But now we're going to start seeing some spearmen coming through here for count on count. And Shadowfax is in a very, very difficult position, though he does have, he does still have this palace here defending him very, very easily here, very nicely. There's no siege weapons out for count on count as of yet. As the uh, hero unit's going to be taking down the scorpion men here uh, very, very quickly. We see the destroyer getting taken out. Another Migdol stronghold getting thrown up there by Count Von Count as well. As the sling is getting cleaned up over here. More buildings coming up. I like that siege works over there. We also see uh, some ramming galleys coming through to clean up the rest of this as those fishing ships are going to get rebuilt and reclaiming that, 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 uh, that food on that location there. Game's still very, very much in the balance here. Shadowfax 140 of 170 population. He's got an army of nearly pure destroyer here, which are incredibly strong. Handful of population left over on that uh, on that beach there, on that pond, whatever you want to call it. Now the unit's pushing forward here for Shadowfax, trying to break through on this location. The Stymphalian bird gonna be here. Lots of Migdols over here right now as now the towers are coming in count on count lots of gold in the bank happily going to be spamming that out as the stim valley birds getting produced here by shadowfax a little bit of wasteful here against those priests here yeah, but he's going to be able to get that favor back really really quickly as well as he's still building trade not going to be building trade at this point doesn't have the food income that he might need to get that trade to work as villagers might be moving in to try and eat those boars underneath this palace over here is the army going to be converging on this position those destroyers if they are being targeted down take next to no damage from the migdol stronghold because they've got so much armor in the pierce 73 percent pierce armor ladies and gentlemen as shadowfax trying to break through here 140 of 170 population against 115 of 115 of 170 population both players with exactly the same population where that's concerned as the destroyers slowly but surely breaking through on this location over here. We do see those priests getting a lot of good damage done. Do they have funeral rites? Not just yet. The uh, the the Symphalian birds should be thinking about staying in the back of the army here as those 20 range Arcus can snipe down those uh, those priests fairly easily from afar and get a lot of good damage done as the priests do try and retreat. But now Shadowfax still sticking around that 140 population mark, whereas Count Von Count is not able to keep up trying to drop more towers on this location here. It looks like Shadowfax will be able to hold on this spot here, which does bode very, very poorly for Count Von Count in the future because Shadowfax is going to have so many destroyers here and the Vortex potential onto this town center is going to be so deadly coming through very, very shortly here. Do we see the trade route started yet again? Not just yet. As the Migdol Stronghold is going to be getting cleaned up here by those medium destroyers. Those priests here getting taken down. They're desperately trying to get trained here to take out the Stymphalian Birds. Shadowfax is now at zero favor, basically, or, or 16 favor here. He's dropping some more military barracks here, trying to get some more units out. As now we've got heavy chariots through for Count Von Count as he is still desperately trying to hold on to this location. The uh, Stymphalian Bird over here can be doing a lot of good damage. You're now starting to see Dryads coming through yet again for Shadowfax here. As he's taken out the, the chariot archer and everything else on this location here is the Migdol just about to go down. As it looks like Shadowfax has indeed held. Camel Count still not fully retreating back here. Still taking a little bit of this fight. Uh, and we'll see how things are going to go. Shadowfax are now 18 villages. Is he still building citizen? Yes, he is. But getting all those citizen out off of one town center can be really, really hard. So picking picking villages off and going for raids against the Atlantean can be a really, really smart way to get ahead against this one town center kind of Aranos situation that he's in. We're starting to see those traders coming through yet again. No, Shadowfax still going to full send on the unit production here thus far. Another big doll coming up. Uh, the big question is going to be, is Shadowfax going to go full up to up to full 170 population or is he going to stop population here or, or production here? It looks like he kind of is. He's not producing from all too much anymore. Still producing those villages, getting himself plow. And will he be able to get to that next age and utilize himself vortex coming through in this game? As we do see the uh, spearmen over here getting cleaned up. Shadowfax slowly but surely wandering forward here. He doesn't want to take his foot off the gas just yet. A lot of 
wood in the bank right now for Shadowfax to spam farms if he so chooses. But not doing it just yet. Happily getting all that economy in. Could start getting some armor upgrades and things like that. It doesn't really does have bronze shield or copper shields, I should say, but not really much else beyond that. As the Migdol Stronghold over here does end up going up. But there is still so many destroyers here for Shadowfax. He's got 11 destroyers. Kind of, I would say, I would say normally this early in the game, but kind of should be used to this. Uh, as he's pushing through so much military here, so many resources in the bank, as Count von Count just struggling to hold on as he does utilize the uh, the the shifting sands over here, pulling a, a handful of units away from the fight. But I'm not sure that's going to be enough here, as the village is trying to repair this one back up. Now you have to remember these do have architects, so they are just a little bit stronger than than normal. Uh, so those destroyers, even oh, they're only medium, but oh, we are seeing Hecate. That's gotta that's gotta be a mistake, right? Hecate is great. Hecate's gonna do a lot of good damage. And you can potentially use Hecate on a tent, which means immediately killing it. Uh, so that will give him at least 10 population advantage moving forward. But you'd think that that three vortexes with Hecate Gigantes is something which the set is simply just not gonna be able to defend. They're not gonna be able to leave their base anymore because as soon as they leave their base, you're just gonna vortex in and clean them up. As you see the Arcus doing everything they can. 150 of 170 population here. Shadowfax has got himself the Stymphalion Bird waiting to move in and look for a, uh, a nice place to drop that Tartarian Gate. Now, the other thing is normally the answer to Tartarian Gate is villagers to attack it. But when you've only got 54 villagers and you can only build one villager every 14 seconds, things end up being very, very difficult. As now Count on Count is moving back forward with his own villagers. He wants to get in onto this location as we see the palace going up very, very fast here. But is it? Is it going to be fast enough, especially with villagers here, to try and take it down? Count von Count does have a gold mine over here he may or may not be aware of, so committing completely onto this might be a little bit of a mistake. As now Shadowfax's palace is up, he can move his citizen over here, repair this back up as fast as he possibly can. 158 of 170 population, the units coming in onto the back of these chariot arches over here as the villagers slowly getting taken down. But will this palace stay alive or not? Hecate, 95% of the way through. That still Stymphalion Bird still waiting in the wings literally to uh to move in and get some good damage dump sign and secret coming through as well for shadowfax and count von count in that moment decides to tap out realizing it's probably too much to continue here a really well played game by shadowfax we got a head scratch here on what count von count's game plan was obviously you jump into this game and you see your set you see your opponent is Uranus, and you have to come up with a game plan at the very uh immediacy of the game and uh in this one it didn't really seem like count von count had any ideas here now i think that probably the best way to have played this as uh, as the set if you were to rerun this would be to actually ignore the water completely and just do a one town center fast heroic double monuments build some animals uh and and just simply priest rush with the siege towers uh, onto the Uranus, and it'll be really, really hard for him to defend that, uh, and then also take the town center down that you build on it. So you go for a villager rush with, well, basically an all-in on this town center would be really, really tough for an Uranus who is is going for the uh, the, the center water here to, to keep up with. But maybe that maybe that would be too crazy. Maybe better would be to just go on one side of the water or something. Definitely advancing faster is a must here. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.